Welcome, and here's an updated look at the current drought and recent precipitation that has occurred across California. We'll take a look at the precipitation so far this year and the forecast precipitation. This message is brought to you from the National Weather Service in San Diego. Here's an image on the screen showing the messaging across the freeways of California discussing the serious drought and the need to conserve water despite recent precipitation. Here's the latest California drought monitor. It shows some improvement over Northern California with recent rainfall, except most of the state still remains in a severe to extreme drought as shown in the orange and red. The reservoirs across the state include the major reservoirs showing some improvement in the north, but still the overall screaming message is about 50% of where they should be. The Sierra Nevada Index, this shows the precipitation that occurs over the mountain regions and the foothills of central northern California, shows the recent precipitation event, the blue line, brought a significant amount of precipitation and brought us above the driest year on record, but you can see the difference between what we have now and what we normally should be in the blue shaded area it was only about one-third of the way of where we need to go. Here's a look at the precipitation that has occurred across California, much of the west, over the past two weeks. You can see for southwest California, the most precipitation was in San Diego County and parts of our northern mountains, San Bernardino area. Those areas received over the course of a week and a half, a half inch to an inch of precipitation. Across northern California, much wetter, some locations across the northern Sierra Nevada, over 10 inches of rain, and the same situation for much of the north coast, receiving 5 to 10 inches of rain and locally higher amounts. Precipitation over the past 30 days, this is what we're viewing here. The recent precipitation across the North Bay and the northern Sierra Nevada, that really stands out significantly. While most of the region remains on the drier side, only receiving precipitation of amounts at the most an inch or two in a lot of areas less than an inch over the past 30 days. Now here's a look at the precipitation for the past six months. This will take us all the way back to the middle of the summer through currently. Most of California still 10 to 40 percent of normal as shown here. The dark red areas, just around 25% or less of normal precipitation. This really covers all of California as shown here. Precipitation forecast. Well, is there some hope and more relief? The question remains. It doesn't look very good for Southern California at all, but for Northern California, as shown here, the red area, several inches of precipitation. Extreme Northwest California looks like it'll be the target for the excessive amount of rainfall, and then it'll taper rather quickly as you go southward. This is for the next several days through next Wednesday. What is the pattern that's going to drive some of this precipitation and remain to our north? Well, it looks like on Sunday, the jet stream will be extended across the entire Pacific Ocean and wrapping across all of the lower 48 states, mainly staying to our north, unfortunately. And this continues next week. A look at it on the right-hand side for Tuesday shows it dips across the Pacific Northwest and Northern California, but still remains north of us. Good news is that blocking high pressure that was over the North Pacific is gone, at least temporarily. What is this jet stream tapping into? Well, here's a look at an atmospheric river currently on our satellite imagery today as this video is recorded. Shown here is Hawaii and California. You can see the deep tap, the green and yellow, the tropical moisture being drawn up by the jet stream and pointed towards northern California. Also note on the east coast, significant storm moving up the east coast also with its own tap of very deep moisture coming up from the subtropics. 
Well, for the next several days, since we won't be getting any precipitation as shown on the prior maps, we will be quite a bit above normal with the jet stream to our north. You can see here, for example, on Friday, Valentine's Day, temperatures borderline hot across the deserts and very warm in inland areas, but also quite warm all the way to the coast, as shown here. Check out the high temperatures even when you get up in the higher terrain above six and 7,000 feet. Temperatures are in the 60s. What's the outlook for the end of February? Well, we don't see much change overall with the pattern. It actually looks like there's below normal precipitation chances for most of central and southern California between February 20th and 26th. Potential for cooler than normal weather in the Pacific Northwest. And then when you look to the east, remaining active with above normal precipitation and also above normal temperatures expected along the eastern seaboard. Thanks for tuning in to this video weather presentation.